Because they will make you brilliant. 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 Okay, so what do we need, Moo Moo? What's your, our your what ingredients? First we need to turn on the oven, turn on the oven to 375. And it's already on. There you go. 375. And you sometimes you want to cook up just a little bit from 350, but 350 being like the average temperature because you want it to cook a little faster. For whatever reason. Okay. So we need um, one quarter cup of melted butter. Okay, we have a quarter cup of melted butter right here in our saucepan. Put that in there. Well, actually, what we want to do is put the five eggs in there first. So you'll see on the recipe uh, list that you need five eggs. Put the five eggs in there first, Moo Moo. And five look at these eggs beautiful eggs that we get. One teaspoon of vanilla. These are so pretty, aren't they? We've got one Americana egg in there, or a little one of the Easter eggs. We've got some white ones and some brown ones. This is the country egg from our local farm. How cool is that? All right, so five eggs, Moo Moo. And then, so we're gonna put these five eggs in there and then we're gonna, and the vanilla, and then Summer's gonna go mix this up because, why Moo Moo? Because if you put your butter in there without melting it, or if you put your butter in there, stir it up, and it's and then you add your melted butter, it'll just you have to kind of have it continuously going, otherwise the butter will get hard, right, Moo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you want to stir it up with your vanilla, the eggs anyway, and then add your melted butter so that it all mixes together and doesn't lump up, because you'll find in keto cooking that with all the fats that we cook with four nice um, that it's getting those fats emulsified and mixed in your mixture well is so important otherwise you will end up with lumpy lumpy lumps in five eggs yeah so why don't you start stirring that up oh put a teaspoon so in this recipe too oh we're using Miss Maria Emmerich's cookbook oh, summer's us. new favorite friend you can see that so it's The Art of Healthy Cooking, or The Art of Healthy Eating, Kids by Marie Emmerich. And this is our new favorite book. Like, we don't have any marks in it because everything is good. Not that not everything is good in our other book, but, you know, there's something that kids like in particular. But Summer loves everything in this book so far, don't you? Yeah, so whisk, whisk that up. And while you're whisking that up, so as I was saying, in this book she does not put uh, vanilla but why do we add why do we add vanilla summer it gives it a good flavor yeah so we found that without adding that what's the flavor would you say it's just not mm, very kind of huh. bitter maybe maybe a little bitter yeah maybe and that's maybe because of the egg white protein we use we're not so sure but okay so we're gonna add a half teaspoon of vanilla Woo! Okay, so Summer's going to whisk, and while Summer is whisking that, I'm going to pour our butter in. So slowly keep whisking them out. I'll get a rubber spoon. And here we go. Keep whisking, keep whisking, keep on whisking, keep on whisking. <laughs> there you go. It's the dory of cooking with Chef Moo, the keto kid. Now, yep, see now how she's whisking that together and the butter is not... Okay, so now we have our wet ingredients. Now, what do we need for what? Yeah, keep on whisking that move. That's actually good. Summer loves to whisk. Now, for our wet, our dry ingredients, what do we need, Moo? We need Here we go. one quarter cup of coconut flour. Okay, so we use, I have, we have everything in this already. We use this Nutiva coconut flour, which you can find on Amazon. We find it at our local, um, What's that market we go to? New, New Seasons. Yeah. New Seasons Market. Probably at Whole Foods, I'm sure. We love this new Tiva brand. It's fantastic. 
Um, and what do we need? One eighth a cup of egg white protein. So what's one eighth of a cup in tablespoons? Um, two. Two tablespoons. We love this egg white protein that's by Now Sports. Pure powder, it's not flavored. You can get the vanilla flavored, I think, um, but we like just the plain. We love that. What else? Um, one half, one eighth of a cup of bulletproof collagen. Because we're gonna bulletproof. Bulletproof. Yes. So Bam. here is our bulletproof. This stuff, this collagen protein from pasture raised cows, which Great. is very important. We've told you about this. You yeah. gotta have your girls on grass. Supports skin, bone, and joint health. Awesome stuff. And then what? One half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so we always use, of course, Celtic sea salt that is real salt. You do not want to get the Morton's table iodized salt. It's not good. You gotta get real salt. Okay? One ha one teaspoon of um, aluminum free baking powder. Alright, we use this Rumford reduced sodium aluminum free baking powder. Okay. Very good stuff. Pretty standard. And what next? Um one teaspoon of zen. Yes, so she calls for a one whole teaspoon of the baking powder. We find that we only need half a teaspoon, but maybe you need that if you don't use the, the xanthan gum like we use. But we use xanthan gum, Bob's Red Mill. This is actually in a little container that we put in the fridge. We like to store ours in the fridge. Um, but why do we use the xanthan gum, Mumu? Uh, it gives it sort of a, sort of a, Makes it a little chewy. bit more like gluten, maybe? Yeah, it gives it that chewy texture that you kind of want in a bagel that you associate with a bagel, right? That yummy, chewy flavor. So we're going to add, Summer's going to keep stirring, just keep whisking, just keep whisking. We're going to add this to our <laughs> mixture. La, la, la. Now you can also take that and um, sift it. We don't worry too much about that. Um, okay. Now Summer's going to whisk that all together. And now, we're going to put it in our handy dandy. We have these little donut, this is a donut pan, I think. Yeah. But we make it into bagels. Or donuts. We make small or ones. Yeah. yeah. We find with the, with the kids, the small ones work better because yeah. you longer. don't want a huge bagel. Yeah. Like that huge bagel, if you put a huge bagel in your tummy, it's kind of disgusting. It would be big. It would be large. So these are perfect. And what we do is we take, what do we take, Mumu? We take our super spoon and our coconut oil. Summer's going to take that coconut oil while I mix this up just a little bit more. And she's going to spray it into there so they don't stick. And this coconut oil spray by Spectrum is fantastic because you do not want to use any vegetable oils. Why, Summer? Because vegetable oils are very bad for your gut biome. V exactly. Say that again for them. They're very bad. Right at them. Say They're it. very bad for your gut biome. They're just bad. Yeah, they're bad. Any vegetable oils, canola oil, sunflower oils. I will give you, actually, we're going to put a list on our uh, all the bad oils that you do not want to use. They will ruin you. They'll ruin your gut. And if your gut's ruined, you cannot, the rest of you is ruined. This great book by um, Kathleen. Oh, goodness. Well, it's called panic. Deep Nutrition. I think I've mentioned it before, but I'm going to mention it again. Oh, so what you do, so when you get to the bottom of something like this, and it won't come out because you're going like this, you got to go to the side, and then it'll come out because, kind of like a straw, you can't reach the bottom very well. Shake it up a little bit. Right? There you go. Okay, so Moo's going to put these yummy bagels in here. Now, when you put these in your pan, this is kind of a, because these are small, you actually want to get a teaspoon. Because these are small, your vessel here, it takes a little bit of time. Moo's going to do it a little bit of time so you don't get it on the side, on the middle of your, yeah, exactly. So you wanna do two teaspoons and you don't wanna fill it up too much. You want a little, actually like a more squished bagel. Yeah, when we made these ahead of time, they were huge. They were huge, you're like, oh, okay. 
So you have to take your time and get those in there nicely. So another thing, the vegetable oil is just, you do not want to eat any fried foods from restaurants ever, ever, because it is just so bad for your brain, yes, really. for your body, for your whole system. It just ruins everything. So I'll say that again. Bad. You do not want to eat any fried foods from a restaurant ever. Not only is the vegetable oil so bad for you, but they hardly, they don't change it. Uh, sometimes I think they go a whole week without changing their frying uh, oil. And it, it's just, it's just so bad. So again, read Deep Nutrition or anything on vegetable oil, uh, canola, canola oil being the worst. So the two things that you really want to take out of your diet are sugar and vegetable oils. So. And gluten. And gluten. Yep, gluten after that. But the two, the, yeah. If you can start anywhere, start with vegetable oils and sugar yes. and then go to gluten, right? Yeah. So Summer's doing an amazing job of filling these up just perfectly. So they're about halfway full. And she's using it. She's being so patient and not getting it on the center little uh, stub there. Okay, so we're going to fill these up. We'll be back. We're going to throw these in the oven and we'll show you our wonderful bagels. Bulletproofed when we get back. Everybody, we have our bagels straight out of the oven. We got one here with some cream cheese. Yeah, look at this cute little thing. See how tiny these are? These are great for kids. Not too much bagel in one bite. Who do we have on today? We have our official snack taste tester, Soleil. Soleil. Hello. Thank you, Chef. Well, I'm honored to be on this show. This is amazing. Thanks. We have an amazing. Bagel. This Brilliant bagel for you to taste, Soleil. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. She says two thumbs up. What do you like to put on your bagel, Soleil? I like them plain. Cream cheese, or either slaughter them with butter. It gets lots of fat with it. Mm. Yeah, I like the butter and the cinnamon. How about you, Mumu? I really like cinnamon. Cinnamon and strawberries. Interesting, mm. interesting. All right. Well, thank you so much for being on our show. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching our Chef Moo show. And if this kid can go keto, so, so can, can you. you.